adding a modified Yamaha 250 with beefed up front and rear suspension and stronger wheels and spokes for the demanding takeoffs and landings. Robbie will be making the jump in fourth gear. To avoid having to shift on the launch ramp, he has added three teeth to the sprocket for extra power. The carburetor has also been rejetted for more usable power, and he has added heavy-duty front brakes for a quick stop upon landing. Robbie has installed heavily padded handlebars equipped with a kill switch. Plus, he'll ride with extra foam cushioning near the seat. The seat and gas tank are covered with a sticky tape to literally glue his body to the bike making him more aerodynamic and stable as he flies through the Vegas night. To get over that lift. Tess, how many speed runs do you anticipate? Well, really, it's how Robbie feels. He may do three, four, or five. You saw there, he stopped next to his mechanic, Buddy Morgan, took a look at what the radar gun said. He's really now feeling it, too, because part of riding a motorcycle at this level is it's the noise the motorcycle makes. You know when it's going the right speed. You feel it. Robbie's trying to feel it, too, but he's also wanting to check the number, so you'll see him make a few of these before he'll commit to the ramp. His parents gave him his first dirt bike, and they bought him a new one every year. He's been riding since he was four and a half years old, jumping motorcycles. You saw all the injuries that he's dealt with through the years. In fact, he made a comeback from a broken leg suffered just in May 2007. That was before that distance jump that he pulled off on last New Year's Eve. And now, Tess, we see some communication with his team. Buddy Morgan and Dane Heron. Well, Buddy looked pretty confident there. He looks happy. I mean, Buddy is the hardest working man in show business around here. He has to get that bike absolutely perfect. You have to think about the altitude. You have to think about how cold it is because it all affects the miles an hour that that bike will travel. But big smile so far on Buddy and Dane's faces. Another speed run as Robbie is trying to get it just right. Cam, we heard from Tess in terms of the optimal speed, but what about the mental preparation at this point with these speed runs? The last minute boost of confidence of knowing you have it right. How big of a factor is that? It's a huge factor. One thing, Joe, I noticed is I saw the wheelies Robbie was riding. He actually got a nose wheelie as well. Mentally, it shows you that he's tuned in, he's feeling loose, he's feeling like he's in the zone. If he's willing to work with the motorcycle, pseudo playing around, it seems like he's more tuned in and ready to go. So if you saw him doing speed runs and he had that worried look, it would, it would worry me, but seeing him loose and playing around. A feat that like only really boyish honest. imagination could dream up. Now attempted by a well-prepared man who is fully aware of his dangers. Robbie Madison is saying, this is it. To the top of the arc, he wants to go. said to be the hardest part. As if 10 stories skyrocketing into the air isn't enough. The football back down. Here it comes. Robbie was leaning out there. He was looking down. And the weight of that motorcycle alone would terrify a normal human being. But Robbie's so confident as he goes to the edge of that 100-foot drop. Checking the bike is in the right gear. You can see him there pushing up and down on the shifter pedal. Here we go. He did it! Higher than anybody has ever gone before and successfully. 
successfully returns. Robbie Madison, you are the fucking man. Robbie Madison on his night of nights has pulled it off. With his fiance by his side, Amy, and Matto has done it. <laughs> Two years in a row, New Year's Eve belongs to Robbie Madison. Tess. That was some impact after that free fall. Joe, it was an amazing impact. He bobbled a little bit, and it looked like he was actually going to shoot towards those hydro barriers. Oh, look at that. You can see how hard he hit there. Blood on the hand, but it doesn't matter. He made it safely back down to terra firma. I guarantee you, Robbie Madison will not be feeling that at all later on tonight. He will trade a broken and battered and bloodied left hand any day of the week to now be able to put away the fears and back down safely to the ground. But that impact, he held on to the handlebars and you saw...